you go. Oh, everything hurts. I don't know what the framing is here. This could be terrible. I'm at the Marriott Hotel in Kigali, Rwanda. I got here like an hour ago. It's almost 4 a.m. here in Rwanda. My call time tomorrow is 2 p.m. I'll be here for work, by the way. See you guys tomorrow. Hello. So I just recorded like 10 minutes of me talking into the camera and my head was cut off. I woke up not feeling so great. I had like a sore throat, just like the 20 hour flight and the change in weather. But anyway, I'm gonna go down and see if they have any vegan options here at the breakfast area. I hope they do because I'm really hungry. <laughs> actually super impressed with the Kigali Marriott's breakfast options. Had so many different fruits, probably the best passion fruit I've ever had. And then I had their passion fruit juice, which was just as amazing. And then they have a lot of options in their African cuisine or African breakfast section. Just like rice, steamed veggies, plantains, potatoes. And I talked to the chef who was super nice and he told me what all the dairy-free options were, all the egg-free options, uh, no butter or anything like that. Super knowledgeable and super friendly and um, yeah. I'm so glad this hotel has amazing vegan options. I'm happy. I can actually look forward to breakfast every morning. I get out of the hotel room. Now I'm gonna go down to the lobby to meet the folks who are gonna take us around. Where we're staying tonight. This is an interesting bathroom. Hello, we made it to our destination. We are at the Kuvi, Kuvi, Kuvi Lounge. It was like a five-hour trip from Kigali. It was just never-ending. Uh, Mexico, yeah. Vancouver doesn't. So I got um, some butter-free rice bananas in syrup and some fries and then I'm gonna get some veggies right now this is what I woke up to I can't get over this that's so pretty look how gorgeous this is oh my gosh <laughs> of Rwanda. We went out, we did some shooting for my work. That pretty much took all day because the place was three and a half hours away. But yeah, anyway, so um, now we're back at the hotel. How amazing is this view? Like, <laughs> so today we got um, kind of a late start. I'm gonna go meet um, my crew for breakfast and then we're gonna decide what time we're heading out. But I wanted to share this wonderful landscape with you prior. Sure it'd be nice to meet you. I'm sure it'd be nice to meet you. along with the pitch of the motor. So you hear the motor? Uh 
Uh, <laughs> um, but it changes, so listen. Uh, and if you're a really good rock star, you can harmonize with me. You're gonna be like. Uh, Can I photo bomb? You can photo bomb. Look, Hi, beautiful. Ready for another day. Headed to breakfast. So this is what I got for breakfast. Plate of fruit and some veggies. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you guys have soy milk. Hi. <laughs> you like soy milk? Oh yes. I've been taking pictures of everything and people are staring at me. So we just arrived at the Kigali Genocide Memorial Museum and we're going to learn a little bit about the uh, genocide. Museum was really, it was really powerful and really sad and I learned so much about what happened and I really recommend it to anybody who comes to Rwanda. So we're on top of the convention center and this is pretty scary and uh, my friend over here Philibert is pretty scared as well. We were gonna climb all the way up but um, we decided not to. And today was super cool. We finally got to see Kigali because when we first arrived, we got here super late and left that afternoon. So we got to explore Kigali today and saw some cool buildings and, and went to the church and went to the Genocide Museum. Tomorrow we're going to the eastern side of the country, the eastern province, uh, where we're going to go to a savanna and hopefully see some animals. I'm excited for that. I also got these two Rwandan baskets that I don't know what I'm going to do with. They're baskets. I don't need baskets, but they're beautiful. So excited about tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Bye! So right now we're going on a boat ride and we're gonna go look for some hippos.
So I took a nap and we woke up here um, at this artisanal shop. I got some gifts for home and then now I'm going to have some passion juice here at this little coffee shop right next door. I'm back at the hotel room now. Ah, salad came! We're on day. Ready to go, ready to start the day. Gonna head down to the lobby and work and then we're gonna go to the north. I don't know what's up north, so we'll figure it out. I realize I didn't do much vlogging today because we were so busy, but we're now at a lodge. Upon arrival, they gave me a blanket <laughs> and ginger tea. Pretty cool. This is my room. It's called the Amakoro Son Sangha Lodge. I'm gonna stay here forever. Going to dinner. It's supposed to be a barbecue dinner, so we'll see how this goes for me. Back in the room. Oh, I love this place. These people are so sweet. They left a chocolate on my on my pillow, which most likely isn't vegan, but that's okay. It's the intention that counts. It's so pretty. Outfit today. Yeah, how is everything? No. Oh, are you kidding? You left us in the lap of luxury. here. We're going to see some stuff in the city again and then head to the airport later tonight. Rwanda, it's been real. I got a passion fruit mojito. Everything has been a passion fruit in my life since I got to Rwanda. Is anyone still watching this? This is it. Goodbye Kigali. I am pretty excited to go back to my own bed though and see my dogs. Alright guys, finally doing it. Indiana Jones cars. And look at Tanya's hat. She is total Indiana Jones. 